you. Newt Gingrich now, Fox News political analyst and a former uh, House speaker. Great to see you, Speaker. Thank you very much for joining us. Do you agree with this you. move by the Texas governor to continue to send these bus loads of migrants now to cities like Chicago as well? Well, I think Governor Abbott represents the desperation that you get along the border states. I mean, whether it's Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, uh, to some extent California, uh, the sheer number of illegal immigrants pouring in, uh, well over two million so far in the Biden administration. And if you count the ones that they're not catching, maybe as much as three million people have poured in. And some of them are dangerous. We were just told, I think, yesterday that three illegal immigrants apparently are being charged with killing a deputy sheriff in North Carolina. So I think what Abbott's done is pretty clever. He's saying to all of these northern liberal states, you know, you, you want to be a sanctuary city, you know, let, let me ship you a whole bunch of folks so you can practice being a sanctuary. And I think that the, the liberal mayors all of a sudden find themselves faced with, you know, the realization that the, the problem on the border can't just be a Texas problem. It is an American problem. And I think Governor Abbott's right to try to communicate that to the whole country. And it is also an American problem now to deal with this massive <clears throat> amount of drugs that are flowing over the border. And now there are more massive drug seizures that we are seeing happen at the border, Speaker. Agents found nearly $12 million worth of cocaine in a shipment labeled baby wipes near Laredo, Texas. That's nearly 2,000 packages of the drug, the biggest cocaine bust in 20 years. It comes after a warning about rainbow fentanyl coming over the border. The White House was pressed on that yesterday. A big problem now that rainbow fentanyl, what specifically is the president doing about this? We just talked about uh, uh, the day, the overdose awareness day that, um, uh, that we are uh, observing today. And so again, Americans life seizures. expectancies are going down uh, at a rate not seen in a century, and part of that is being driven by drug overdoses. We see those same numbers as well. But the fact that we are, uh, you know, we are securing the border, uh, the fact that we are securing record levels of funding uh, from DHS so they can stop illicit drugs from entering into the country. The it's Look, not but, being but, stopped. 300 overdoses. I hear you. I just, I just laid out 200 percent of increase of drug fentanyl seizures. So, coming in, fentanyl's coming in. People are dying. This is something that's incredibly important to this president. So to say that we're not doing enough, Peter, is just falsely, categorically wrong. If Republicans want to help us stop overdose and stop our kids getting overdose because of these dangerous drugs, because of these fentanyl that we're seeing in the streets, we're happy to work with them, but they're not. So is the goal to blame Republicans for the drugs flowing over our southern border? Look, look the, the level of dishonesty in that interview is astonishing. <clears throat> the fact that they could suggest that they're controlling the border. You just saw footage of how uncontrolled the border is. Uh, and this is an administration which every single day lies to the American people. Uh, and I think <clears throat> we also have to recognize something which neither party has taken on as much as they're going to have to, and that is that in many ways Mexico is becoming a failed state. Uh, the cartels have enormous power in Mexico, and as long as the cartels are as powerful as they are, I think they're a real danger to the United States, not just from drugs, but presently they're going to start exerting the same kind of violence here that they routinely exert in Mexico. And I think that's something people need to really think about. We've got a long period of assuming our southern border was safe. Now it's not only open, but our next door neighbor is increasingly dominated by very violent organizations uh, that are, I think, ultimately going to also seep into yeah. the United States and who get most of their money, frankly, from sales in the United States. Cocaine marked as baby wipes, fentanyl <clears throat> looking like children's candy. Um, it is a scary, scary time um, watching all those drugs flow over the border. We appreciate you joining us. Newt Gingrich, thank you very much. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. From Tucker Carlson tonight.